Let's jump right into it. It has been a while, I know. <laughs> There's a lot going on in my life right now that required me to focus on myself and things that are going on as my priority, but I promise you that unlike my last year departure, this is nothing bad. It's actually all good stuff. I'm just not quite yet ready to share it with you yet, but I promise you in a few months I will be sharing uh, what is going on. Expect me to post less frequently over the next few months. I'm going to do my best to try to get in at least a couple videos a month, but bear with me. Um, all will be explained in due time. In regards to my hair, let's just get right into it. I have been doing literally nothing. I have had my hair in braids for the past almost four months, a little more than three months. I literally just took out my braids like a week ago. That has been great because I have not had any time to think about doing my hair and protecting it from manipulation, no. The season of life that I'm in right now is long-term protective styling, leave it and forget it and focus on other things, which is honestly the reason why I love long-term protective styling so much because it really does allow you to just not worry about things and sometimes life requires you to not worry about things like your hair. This is the first time I've seen my hair in three months. Um, for me, when I take my hair out of braids after just three months or so, it's difficult for me to really see or notice a change. I've always felt like for me to really see a change in my hair because of my shrinkage, I need a solid six months at least, preferably eight months before I'm like, oh yeah, I can see a difference in, you know, growth or thickness or et cetera, et cetera. And, but if I try to look at my hair and compare it to some of the videos that I made before I went on my little three month hiatus, I guess maybe there's some growth. I mean, with my hair growing about a quarter inch per month, that would be what a little bit less than an inch so when you factor in shrinkage it's just kind of hard to see that but at the very least i feel like my hair has not regressed it doesn't look like it's gone backwards which makes sense because it's just been in braids for three months there's really nowhere for it to go so yeah that's literally all i've been doing that's really the only informative hair update that i have for you guys aside from all the other stuff that's going on in my life right now another reason why i haven't really been posting as much is because when my hair is in long-term protective styling, I mean, there's not much to really say about it. It's just in a long-term protective style and it's just gonna be that way for a while. I feel like with natural hair and just YouTubing in the natural hair community, what I've noticed from some of the women that I would look at, look at as, you know, the OGs or women who've been able to achieve long, healthy looking, thick hair for them is that they're not the type of people who are posting every week. A lot of times, a lot of the people that I follow, I may not hear from them for months, years. One of my favorite YouTubers, Craven Curly Kings, just came back from, I think like a five year hiatus. I could not believe when I turned on my YouTube and I saw that she had uploaded a video because after five years, you're thinking, oh, you're never gonna hear from this person ever again in life, it's over. But I was so excited to see that she was back. And the funny thing is, I think she said in some of her comments, responding back to people in her video, like, you know, thanks for sticking with me, for staying subscribed so long and still being interested to hear about her journey. And even though five years had passed, I didn't really care. I was just excited to see her back and excited to see what she's gonna be sharing now about her hair journey because life happens and you know she doesn't owe me anything. So that gave me some encouragement that you know life is gonna continue to happen. At the end of the day, we are all people. This is hair and sometimes I'm not gonna be able to be you know a Mr. Beast type of YouTuber where I'm making two videos every week because it is what it is. And I also don't wanna put my hair through that type of manipulation or stress. Whenever I start to feel like this is too much stress, I need to take a break, I'm just gonna take a break and take a step back. And I hope that you guys are understanding of that. If you're not, that's fine, but if you are, I appreciate it. So yeah, nothing too crazy. I, If you're interested about my hair today and how I got this look, it was pretty easy. I took my hair out of the braids. I didn't even wash it. I was washing my hair while it was in the braids and then when I was taking my hair out, I didn't wash it loose because again, I don't, even, I don't even have time for that kind of manipulation right now. I do not. 
I have been washing my hair only in protective styling, AKA the braids, because that is all I am willing to do right now. So I took, I had washed my hair and then I took my hair out of those braids and then I re-moisturized it with water and the Carol's Daughters oil blend. And I then um, blow dried my hair with the Rev Air with level one heat and level seven tension. For those of you who are not familiar with the Rev Air, level one is the level that doesn't stretch your hair as much as it can. It really leaves a lot of texture in your hair, which I prefer. I don't really like it when it's um, too bone straight. It's not really bone straight, but to me it's bone straight and it can just be a bit too dry when it's on level two. So I just try to stick to level one as much as I can. I feel like it gets the hair stretched enough. I'm not looking for, you know, a perfect straight look. I'm just looking to be able to more easily manipulate my hair and put it into twists. So this particular style is a week after I did that. Uh, when I went to bed, before I went to bed, I put my hair into some pretty chunky, basic lazy twists. I had one, two, three, four, four twists up here. I always do one at each edge, one in the front, and then I try to just do like one in the back. So I think I had only one, two, one, two, three, four, five. I don't even know. It was between three to five twists on my hair. And then I simply just took it out, as you can see here, fluffed it up a bit, and this is it. So yeah, nothing, nothing crazy, nothing too spectacular, pretty basic, but that's what's going on in my life right now. Um, I am going to be uploading a video very soon of a collaboration that I was fortunate enough to do with great hair and actually also my little sister. Um, for those of you who may or may not remember, I did an interview or a sister chat with my little sister a while back where we talked about a number of different things growing up in you know regards to hair, but something that she talked a lot about is a graying of her hair that happened, I think she said when she was five or six it started, her hair started to gray prematurely. And amazingly enough, this company, Great Hair, actually saw that interview and asked us if we would be interested in trying out their hair products because they actually make hair products that are designed for women who are, are either totally gray or partially gray or salt and pepper gray. They have all these different blends, which was really, really cool. So she got to experiment with that. I think that's a phenomenon that a lot more people deal with than we realize. And I think it's really cool that there are companies out there that are aware of that and try to, you know, cater to that niche of people because oftentimes we are not catered to or recognized at all. So if anyone is interested in that, yes, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. My plans as to what I'm gonna be doing with my hair moving forward is I'm gonna continue to leave my hair out maybe for another week or so. I've got some human hair that I'm gonna be testing out um, that I purchased, it wasn't sent to me by a company. It's just human hair that I found off of Amazon. And I'm going to be bringing that into my hair very soon so that I can go back to being lazy and not doing anything and just leaving my hair in long-term protective styling, which is awesome. Uh, so yes, that is my plan. And I will likely be doing long-term protective styling for at least the next six to eight months. I mean, of course, there will be times when I take it out to redo the style, et cetera, et cetera, like I did right now, but I see long-term protective styling in my near future for a while, simply because it's all that my lifestyle can afford to do right now. But when I do have time to transition it, I'm gonna try to do my best to remember to get on camera, try to talk to you guys, try to share things that are going on, et cetera, et cetera. But anyways, so, there are some other topics like new edge restoring products that I've seen come out that I'm going to be interested in trying out. Not that my edges are bad, but I feel like, can you ever have enough edge growth? No. So I'm going to be looking forward to trying that out, especially um, Sacred's edge serum thing. I don't even honestly know the, the exact name of it off the top of my head, but that'll be um, something that I'll be looking to review in the very near future. I'm also planning on doing another brand new Rivera giveaway towards the end of the year for Christmas. So if you are interested in that, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on that opportunity. I still have not yet decided if it's going to be on Instagram again. There's just a lot more hurdles that you have to jump over with YouTube, so it might be on Instagram, but 
hey, I mean, if you want a free $400 blow dryer, you might have to make an account on Instagram. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's pros and cons of everything. That's something that I think I would like to continue to do every year. So stay tuned for that if you are interested. I'm definitely going to be doing that by the end of the year. I don't know the requirements or not. I just know that I will be doing another Rivera giveaway around Christmas. I will also make sure to link the video above where I'm using the product so you can get a bit more information about the newest Rivera model. I would love to hear from you guys about how life has been going. What have you guys been doing with your hair lately? Are you doing any? protective styling are you rocking your natural hair on a day-to-day -day basis are you doing anything fun for the fall just whatever's going on in your life and if there's anything specific that you would like to hear my thoughts on hair related or otherwise make sure to drop it in the comment box below and until next time guys take care of yourself